How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another crypto video and today's a video on Digibyte. Now for those of you that follow my channel regularly, you know I don't normally talk about prices or check the markets all that often, but I just got to say the past couple days have been extremely exciting. It's definitely uh, uh, nice to see these types of gains after such a long bear market. And uh, you know, it's even more exciting when you take into consideration that this is really just the beginning. You know, uh, certainly not every project is going to have success. Not every project is going to, uh, you know, Lambo as as they like to say. But it, you know, it is it is just the beginning. We are the early adopters of this space, and I, I just can't wait to, uh, you know, be a part of it and go along for the ride and see where it goes. So, getting to the news today, I have some announcements for uh, both of our partnerships in uh, VID and Antum ID. So it was yesterday that VID tweeted out that they have made a new partnership. Uh, it says the new client, yet another globally applicable use case, the NBRI, which I had to research this. They actually typoed that. It's the NRBI. And they're the Dutch National Register of Architectural Inspectors. And they will validate property valuation reports uh, you know, using VID. And if those of you that are unfamiliar with VID, uh, they have adopted the DigiSign technology and they will basically eliminate document fraud. You can scan a document and within five seconds you will know if that document is fraudulent or not. If uh, First you need to scan the original document so it knows what to base it on and then if a single pixel of that original document is changed when you go to scan it to verify its authenticity it's going to let you know this document is fraud because it is not matching the original document that's definitely a very important use case going into the future as as more and more contracts are just becoming online i, I think when i bought my house the majority of the paperwork i signed was done online uh, so this partnership oh, in this tweet they say uh, even bigger news tomorrow so looking at the tweet that came out today, uh, they have partnered with the LTO network and VID. They have joined forces uh, and they're going to share technology and customers and explore new use cases and develop GDPR compliant tool sets with expert input from CMS Law, KPN, IBM, uh, Rabobank, ING. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that one, but many, many more. So looking back at the NRBI, what they are. Uh, basically, the foundation wants to offer market parties certainty about the quality and execution of inspections. And now they can further guarantee the certainty and the quality uh, due to the fact that the uh, partnership with VID will allow for them to verify if the documents they have submitted are still legit or if they've been forged in some way or another. Um, and the partnerships of VID just continuously grow. Uh, they've had some very impressive partnerships. It was sometime last year that uh, VID partnered with Airbus Defense and Space, which if you're unfamiliar with them, they are the largest defense supplier in Europe and among the top 10 defense uh, companies in the world. So that's definitely a major, major partnership. Uh, this is uh, VID's page or website itself. I'll provide a link to the description and you can see some of their other partnerships to include Wild Radar, Maritime, Cyber Alliance, and many, many more. And with their partnership with the LTO network, it just adds more clients into the VID umbrella, so to speak. So moving to, oh, this is just a quick look at the LTO network's website. I'll provide a link in the description below. Uh, basically, they appear to be a hybrid system, you know, on-chain, off-chain solutions for business. And I think kind of having some sort of off-chain solution for business is an important step here in the early phases of, I guess, uh, adoption of blockchain technology uh, and and they point out why you know blockchain has immutable data you, you can't change it you can't delete it you can't erase it uh, so as part of the solution that LTO offers to that is uh, LTO network allows information to be shared peer-to-peer -peer where deletion requests propagate to all parties so you do have the ability to uh, delete things uh, uh, Compared to if you store it on the blockchain, you can't delete it. It's there forever. It's immutable. So uh, these types of solutions are going to be important for uh, the early adoption of getting businesses, uh, you know, interested into this type of technology. So moving to the other partnership, Antum ID. Uh, it was last week I reported 
Uh, I've been reporting on it for a couple of weeks now. There, there was the phone application DigiID Antum ID that allowed you to generate a password for websites that had not yet integrated DigiID. And then Antum ID created the uh, extension for Google Chrome, Firefox, and, and basically every single browser out there, Microsoft Edge, et cetera. And uh, it was last week that they made it easier, a little more user friendly, to where you could scan the QR code with your phone and then copy and paste it to the browser on your computer. That was definitely a step in the right direction in, in terms of user friendliness, but now they're taking it a step further. Uh, you know, with this next upgrade, I don't think it's fully launched yet. This is just a sneak peek of it. Uh, but now once you scan that QR code, it's going to copy and paste your password into the browser automatically. There's no button clicks anymore. So, you know, it was already a revolutionary idea to generate passwords for websites that had not integrated Digi ID or Anthem ID yet, and now they're just making it extremely user friendly, which is going to definitely help in the adoption of the technology. Uh, and this is a look at Noah Seedman's version of it. He created the Digi ID simple application, and he too has now integrated a uh, way to generate a random password for websites that you're trying to log into. And this is just a quick little uh, GIF of using his application instead of using the Digi ID Anthem ID application. So it's definitely nice to see uh, them making it as user friendly as possible because, again, being user friendly is what's going to allow it to gain that adoption in the real world. So, getting to the last bit of news that I have today, this is a tweet from Josiah Spackman. This was coming out yesterday uh, where he posted a video on YouTube to where you could watch the change of an epoch for AutoCrypt, which AutoCrypt is going to be the ASIC resistant mining algorithm. It's going to rewrite itself every 10 days, which is what makes it ASIC resistant, and it will be GPU and FPGA friendly, which will further decentralize Digibyte and make it that much more secure, as since ASICs cannot mine this algorithm, it will prevent companies such as Bitmain and all the other ones out there from just setting up a massive warehouse and massive mining operations and exerting some sort of control over the Digibyte blockchain. So AutoCrypt is definitely going to be a very big deal. Uh, I'll provide a link to the YouTube video in the description. It's still on testnet at this moment, but this uh, video that he posted shows you how the algorithm updates after 10 days. It's definitely, uh, you know, a revolutionary technology and definitely exciting to, you know, watch it. And I can't wait till it comes out, uh, especially I think it's, it was scheduled for quarter one. You know, I expect it to be released in the next coming weeks. It is on the test net now, and understandably, they want to make sure it's working flawlessly before they integrate this into the real world. So that will wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.